Hello, welcome back 99 family. I'm back to you guys with another video. In this video, um, I know you guys who are used to watching my videos are, are going to be very surprised by this video. Please don't click off. This is not me changing up. This is just me giving honor what honor is due. Um, you guys know when I started off this channel, I told you that my goal was for financial education to be taught to the youth, for kids to be financially literate, and for them to be aware of the opportunities and things that are available to them. So with that being said, you know, I found this video and it really, really was inspiring to me um, because it's a video of a father and a son. Um, and the father has taught his child um, financial uh, terms and he drills them on them. Um, and it's just very, very unique and interesting to watch and just something that um, I feel like everybody on the channel needs to see. Um, and definitely, you know, one of these key points on my beliefs in having financial education taught in schools and the fact that children could very well learn these things young and become successful with them later on in life. Um, but you know, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, if you're returning, I thank you all. Thank you all for being a part of the family. But let's get into this video. King, there's a lot of suckers at you with your money. And you can't be no sucker at you with your money. Bro, I ain't no sucker. Bet you I don't. Okay. What's assets? He, he said, he said, bet you I don't. See, there's some of you who finna click off right now. Y'all finna be like, you just told me this kid was very intelligent. He was very smart. They talking about suckers and... And bet you I don't. Hold up. Wait one second. So, listen to what he say. L listen sometimes. Sometimes y'all need to close y'all mouths. Stop judging people. Stop judging a book by its cover. And take a second to listen. Now listen to what his little boy say. Okay. What's assets? Assets are things that bring money to your bank account. What's liabilities? Liabilities are things that take money out your bank account. Entrepreneurship is the act of becoming an entrepreneur. What's entrepreneurship? Entrepreneurship is a process of setting up a business or business. Taking on. <sighs> Hold up. Hold up. That man draw assets and liabilities already. Man, I'm I'm 20. I learned about assets and liabilities when I was when I was 18, two years ago. This man is eight. Come on, li listen to the boy. I already know what being an entrepreneur is. I already know what it means to get out there and get that money. How to hustle? Listen to him. Listen to him. The greater than normal. Financial risk. What's an entrepreneur? Entrepreneur is a person that organizes and operates a business or businesses. Also taking on the greater than normal. Financial risk. What's financial mean? Money. And what's risk mean? Chance. Come on. What does it mean to own stock? When you own a share of a company. <laughs> See, a lot of y'all don't even know what stocks are. Y'all just like that's when when people be gambling on the businesses and stuff. That, that what a stock is when you be gambling in businesses. People don't even know that. That means you own a part of that company. If you own more than fifty percent stocks in that company, you own the most. You own the majority of the company. It's now your company. See, people don't know that. The little boy is speaking facts. Just listen to him. My own. What's real estate investing? Real estate investing is when you invest in a movable property. What's the two types of real estates? Commercial real estate and residential real estate. What's commercial real estate? I heard that commercial and residential. He know the different types of real estate. Now watch him break it down though. Listen to him. He gonna break it down for you. Commercial real estate is property for businesses and workspace, like an office, store, and land. And what's residential real estate? Property to live on, like a house, apartment, or condominium. Come on. It comes with extra fees when you have real estate, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Daddy tells you how many times he pays his uh, state property tax a year. Once a year. What's, what's the type of maintenance fee? Cutting grass. Come on. What's the state? <laughs> now y'all heard that? That boy, no. You pay your, your state taxes once a year. Nobody can't never hustle him now. 
He know they come back to him talking about you owe us some more. Uh uh. I, I, Daddy said I'm supposed to pay those one time a year. <laughs> you know what's maintenance? What is maintenance on 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 the house? See, a lot of people don't realize that you want to own the house, but you don't know about maintenance. You don't know about fixing the roof. You don't know about cutting the grass. You don't know about the plumbing, the electric. You gotta know about those other things that is maintenance to your property. See, little boy is speaking them facts. Y'all need to listen, boy. L listen to him. So oh, wait. Homeowner association. And what comes along with that? HOA fee. Come on. <laughs> and when it comes to the brokerage. Oh no. <laughs> that was a HOA fees. <laughs> Y'all heard that? Hey, that's a, that's the one thing. I I just cannot do properties with HOAs. I own multiple properties. Um, you know, currently is vacant land that I'm dealing in. Eventually, I want to get into um, real estate, both commercial and residential, uh, as far as like actual dwellings, buildings, and things. But but little man say HOA give you HOA fees. See, nobody don't like those. Nobody don't like those. Let me get back where he is. Fee. Come on. And when it comes to the brokerage percent, what percent is that? Seven. Come on. What's equity? Equity is the difference between what your business is worth minus what you own. Also, assets minus? Liabilities and debt. Good job. What's credit report? Credit report is like a report card letting you know how well you did by paying your money back you borrowed. And how does credit affect your life? The better you keep your credit, the more opportunities you have to get funding. And what? Large purchases like? A car or a house. Come on. And always repay. <laughs> Y'all listen to the little boy right here, man. Man, when I see this video the first time, man, this video, it, it just touched me. It touched me. Man, this is stuff that I didn't learn until I was an adult, man. This is why we need the children to be financially literate so they understand. This little boy right here, I can tell you, he's going to grow up to be healthy, wealthy, and successful. Uh, uh, this little boy will be healthy, wealthy, and successful. Y'all keep listening to him. All right, what he said. The brokerage fee is 7%. He already know what a broker costs. When you when you get in the house, when you go to buy a house, he know what the broker costs. So nobody can't beat him out of nothing. He know what percent you supposed to get, so you can't up it on him. Come on. Come on now. I need I need to listen to this boy. I need to listen to this boy. And always repay what you Because if you owe somebody that means you're in Dead. and you never wanna be in because that means you're Oh, somebody. And we don't never owe somebody. Cause that ain't what suckers do. Period. Come on. Yeah. I hope y'all heard this boy. Cause, cause y'all need to listen to that right there. <laughs> That's what, what suckers do. <laughs> but no, on a serious note, little boy was speaking facts, man. So I, I had to bring him over and give him some credit, man. Next generation up and coming of straight king, straight successful people. And this is what I want to do, spread this financial literacy out to people. You know, um, for the future, my videos like this, um, if they're not finance related, will be on my other channel, Suave Speaks, um, or Suave Speaks, however you pronounce it. But they'll be over there. But today, this one was financially related. It, um... It definitely was a video that just touched me. Like, this kid is very intelligent, um, you know, very woke. He has great parents. You know, that's a, a big lapse in society right now is, is parenting. A lot of parents aren't giving the children the knowledge that they need to be successful because either they don't have it or they don't have the time or they're just too lazy. You know, but please, people, you know, teach your kids the right way. Teach them how to be successful. Get them those skills so that they can, you know, do what they got to do. But, you know, with that being said, thank you all for being a part of the family. Thank you all for watching. Please, you know, leave a like on the video. Uh, comment if you have any comment. Uh, subscribe. And please share this video out with others. Um, you know, everybody, I feel like, needs to see this video right here. Um just to see the power of financial literacy in children. Um, 
And with that being said, I'll see you guys later on. Thank you all for watching. Peace out.